Nestled into the rugged hills of eastern Oklahoma, hidden away according to their charism, is a fast-growing group of Catholic monks. In the woods, gathered around the word, are the Benedictines of Our Lady of the Annunciation of Clear Creek Monastery. We're not just here by ourselves for our own contentment, but we stay here basically and pray and work around this place with a lot of different shops and things. It's really about uh, contemplative prayer. Seven times a day and once a night we meet to pray in the church. And then we have other times of prayer and study. But we do manual labor because the earliest monks found that they couldn't do this. They couldn't pray all day. They were going crazy. Since the community's establishment, their lifestyle has been attracting the interest of the local community. For the last 23 years, locals have been working and praying with them when they can. And just once a year, the first weekend in March, they open their doors to any and all people to come lend a hand for an annual work day. It's just by word of mouth, it wasn't a, uh, somebody's idea, really, except to, uh, to let people come help. Because they, it's hard to understand contemplation and prayer, to understand work, everybody gets that, right? So they, they come and they identify with that. I don't know, it's kind of a mystery, really. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This year, Tulsa Bishop David Condorla gives the blessing before the work crews head out. Brother Joseph Marie Owen is the community's rancher. He also oversees the annual work day. The basic concept is it's the uh, American barn building. Everybody gets together and helps the neighbor put up a barn, and this is kind of extended like that. So we've got people clearing the woods, taking out the, the dead trees and whatnot, opening up thinning firewood, We've got people up there uh, that are building uh, corrals. We have two corrals that can go up that will be able to capture the animals, the, the cows, and bring them down to where they, if they need special attention. We have all these people, good people coming together. That's unmeasurable, of course. You know, that's a quality thing. It's about a year and a half of my time, one day. The monks who live here in silence and solitude devoting themselves to constant prayer and penance, only very rarely invite the public in mass into their reality. Today, there are more than 500 people here. It's just good to help, uh, help the monks out as much as we can, and uh, it's really good for the community out here. A lot of people come from all over Oklahoma and out of state to help. I was clearing out all the timber, getting in all the big pieces for uh, firewood, and then stacking up all the brush, just for brush to burn. The monks want to turn all this land into uh, pasture land eventually. So if we can clear that land um, of trees and dead wood, eventually we can get grass to grow. And then uh, hillsides with rocks and beautiful monastery land is a perfect place for sheep to eat. And if you ask anyone here, they'll be coming back next year, bringing their own tools and some more friends. Alan Holdren at Our Lady of Clear Creek Monastery in Holbert, Oklahoma, for EWTN News In-Depth.